Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to use Microsoft Excel. It's going to be a lot easier than you think. So we'll start out just by adding a couple numbers. There we go. And let's say we want to add these two numbers together. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit equals. So anytime you hit equals, that's going to put in a formula. And this works just like Battleship. So we're at A2, A2. And then we can add this together. So I just put in a plus and then D7. I'm going to hit enter. And there's a the result. And that's it. That's really all you need to know. Most of the, I would say 99% of all of the spreadsheets you're ever going to see are going to be some variation of that. Now, if you don't want to add, you can just change this. We can make it a divide. We can make it a multiply. You can do whatever the heck you want. But that's it. I mean, it's super easy. And once you get used to using this, you're going to find you use it more and more often because the power of this program, just because of that, it, it just makes everything so much easier. So, for example, if I was going to add a bunch of stuff in a calculator, at some point, I'm going to get lost and I'm going to forget exactly what I was doing. So if I want to add a bunch of things in Excel, I'll do the same thing. I can just do equals H7. H9 plus H10, right? So there's a number. And we can also see right here, we can see everything that we put in. So if you made a mistake, if we look at this number and like that doesn't look right, we can go back and we can change what we put in. And it'll update automatically. Now let's say we got a whole bunch of numbers here. Okay, we want to add everything in this column together, even as we keep on adding it. So we can go up here. This is the insert function button. And then this is where all of our formulas are. So sum, of course, that adds everything together. It'll tell you exactly what this function is going to do. And it'll tell you how to implement it. So sum, and then a bracket, and then a number, and then a number, and then the bracket. So I'll hit OK. And then here, I'm just going to click on the H on the top. And that fills it out automatically. I'll hit OK and it's updated. So now I can add more stuff on the bottom. It's just gonna keep on updating. And that one button, because most people don't know what that button is or where it is, like I said, most people that make spreadsheets, they just use this stuff over here. The fact that you now know where this button is and what it does means that you're already more advanced than what most people can do. So if you look at this spreadsheet, this is something that I came up with. This is every single receipt that my shop got for everything that they purchased, how much they purchased it for, how many they got, when, where they got it, and then a link to it if I want to buy it again. Now this took me a long time because before I had this, everything was literally on paper. So I just had cupboard after cupboard of just paper documents of receipts and all that stuff is great, but it's not really very searchable. So if I'm looking for a part, if I want to try to figure out, for example, do a control F, so this is find impression cylinder. All right, so this is where I put all the impression cylinder stuff. And if I'm looking for threaded rod for the impression cylinders. I'm not going to be able to just pick one up and automatically know what the threading is, what the length was that I purchased, something that worked. And right here, I can see exactly what we purchased. I know what it is. So this is not only going to save me a bunch of time in that you know, if I really need to find out what it is and I have no idea what to look for, I'm not going to have to go back and find the receipt. I can repurchase that exact same thing within a matter of seconds. So this saves me a ton of time, but on top of that, just a ton of money. So for example, like this one right here, we purchased this as a three millimeter O-ring. No good. I label this one. No good use this one. So in the future, if I need to get another O-ring for the top, I know I can just buy this one. I know that it will work. But also just by making this list, like the fact that I was able to go through and find out what all the different parts are. When I started making this list, I didn't know what most of these things were. So if I look for ink module. So here we've got got the nylon insert lock nuts. I know that they're stainless steel. I know that they're nylon. So I know that they're M6 by one. So just by making this list, I forced myself to learn what all the different things are. So now if I look for like rotary valve, but since I made this, now I know what they are. I know exactly where I can get them. And on top of that, I can forward this list to anybody that I want to. So if we got a new guy in, he needs to be able to figure out all this stuff. I can just send it to him and he's going to get 10 years worth of experience. And because this can be saved to OneDrive, I don't have to actually save this file to my computer. I can just put this on OneDrive. And if my boss wants to look at it, I can share a link to it so he can look at it. And then as I update it, he's going to continuously get the newest updated version. So I have to keep on sending the list over and over and over. I can just say, hey, go back and look at that same exact link that I shared with you. And I can even look at this on my phone. So if I'm on vacation on an island somewhere, but I got my phone on me and it's got reception, I can still look at this list and somebody says, hey, I need to get a new ball bearing. Maybe it's not that one. 
Okay, I don't have to have this thing in my hand. I just know that it's for the bumper roller. I know that this is the exact bearing that I want. I can order that and I can get that to the people that need it right now. So yeah, this program has infinite uses. This has definitely been the biggest use that I've gotten out of it. It has saved me so much time, so much money. Just the fact that I'm not continuously reordering things that don't work. I've got everything that I need right here. It's just made my life so much easier and saved the company a ton of money too. So let's say about another one of these. I want to insert it down here. So I'm just going to right click, go to insert and then table rows above. Now I can just select this whole row hit control D that duplicates everything I can just update the date and the price of it changed and that's it so this is a super easy thing to update especially if you already got something that's filled out like this so everything on this sheet this is for the press and I've got everything somewhat organized so here on the bottom I got the press packaging the Diddy press playmaking building and the different companies so what's good about this is if I need to get more nipping rings for the folder this company might have changed its name but the phone number might be the same so I can actually use this even when things start getting complicated but this is just what I've come up with and I'm sure that you're gonna find your own uses for it the biggest thing is just if you start using it you're gonna find that you're gonna use it for more and more things and it's gonna prove itself to you like it, it just always does for anybody that uses this program it's a definite game changer